Western Griffins head coach Rod Edmerson. Uh, a senior guard. It's Rob, Rob Edmerson, excuse Rob, me. Sorry. Yep. Uh, senior guard Serafina Handy and senior forward Millie Koya Minivare. That was a good All attempt right. at that. That was, that was close. <laughs> that was close. Uh, Coach, if you'll start out with an opening statement about the game, and then we'll open it up. To okay. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate Emporia. I, I thought uh, their team played really well today. Uh, I thought they did a great job. Uh, I thought uh, Jory did a great job, their, their game plan. Um, they took it at, at an area where we struggle sometimes inside, and they were really good at it. Uh, they, they made it tough for us all day inside. Uh, I thought their defense was great, and I thought their kids played with a tremendous amount of pride and energy. And, and so hats off to Emporia State. Um, I thought they did a tremendous job. Uh, we, just, we just had a rough day. Uh, we played a lot of different lineups today that we normally don't play. We spent most of the day just kind of trying to patch things together, and uh, that was tough. I'm really proud of our kids. Uh, got down uh, big in the first quarter, battled back. Um, did some things that kept us in the game long enough to have a chance. And then, unfortunately, uh, I, I have done a poor job on, on, on making, making sure my kids understand how to hold their composure. And as a coach, i got to do a better job. Uh, we gave up nine points today on, on give me points that, um, that uh, as a coach, I've got to do a better job of making sure our kids um, understand the environment of the game and, and, uh, and take care of what they need to do. So that's my fault. Yeah. Not to belabor the negative, but in that thing, coach, seven minutes, eight seconds to go in the game. Serafina hits a three. You got the lead, their lead down to two, and then the wheels kind of came off. Um, what do you do as a coach to help them recover from that kind of a composure issue? Well, we talk about it, and, you know, we point it out, and, and we make sure we understand, and, and I think. Uh, all my players are smart kids, and, and they understand the ramifications of it. And, and uh, I'll be surprised if that happens again, you know. And, and um, even with that said, I just I am proud of how hard our kids battled. I thought we just were kind of behind the eight ball all day in terms of putting us in, in ourselves in tough situations. Nothing. I mean, it was just all it was all about us not getting some things done well that we've done all year. And, and uh, um, you know, Fina didn't get to play much the first half, and she came out and hit some big threes the second half. And and um, you know, uh, she kept battling, and of course Millie here. You know, she battles every second she plays. All of our kids do. Um, we just um, too many things to overcome. So um, we we'll, we will get ourselves ready for the NCAA tournament, and hopefully twenty seven and three gets us in. Um, let's hope, and uh, hopefully we'll get another game. That's the big thing. All year you've talked about your bench. Yeah. And with the foul trouble early on, you got a pure shooter on the bench for most of the first half. They kept the game manageable mm -hmm. for the end of the third quarter and then into that period in the fourth. Talk about those kids and, and what they're going to mean for you when you do go forward. Well, you know, the strength of our team all year long has been the depth of our team. And, you know, we have a freshman today, post player, that hasn't registered very many minutes uh, for a big part of the year. And I thought Limba came in today and was tremendous uh, with her minutes, you know, with Kia and, and Jules being in foul trouble. And, you know, that's a tough environment to play in as a freshman that hasn't got a lot of playing time. And I was really proud of her. I thought she showed some physicality and, and did a great job guarding uh, ball screens and hedges. And, and uh, so I, I was really pleased with that. And, and our bench all year long has had moments where they keep, keep us in games or they've won us games. And, you know, we can, we can adjust that lineup about any way you want it. And we've got 10 kids that can play and 10 kids that care about each other. So um, our depth is a strength. And, uh, you know, when Fina's down and in foul trouble, someone picks her up. And when Millie's in foul trouble, someone picks her up. But we had to go too many minutes with too many of our – prime timers down and that that's just hard to overcome and that's basketball that happens I mean a game like this obviously is a lot on the line so I mean emotions definitely play a big part in it um just, you know, being able to keep your head and knowing, like, you know, you can't worry about the refs or worry about the other team or little bumps and hits here. You know, you just got to kind of stay composed and play through it. But just it's a lot of emotions in a game like this. Coach, what's the biggest factor from the free throw line disparity in your mind? Let me look what it was. 41 to 16. It's hard to overcome that. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. That's – not my call. I'm just saying it's a stat line that's thrown out there, just like we could say we got out-rebounded by 10. That could have been the difference in the game. 
but it's hard to overcome. It's hard to it's hard to overcome um, a situation where you get outscored by twenty from the free throw line. You know, and um, it makes it makes it hard. It makes it hard. A lot of stoppage. That game had a lot of stoppage today. You know, and some of it was the environment of the game. I think we had four or five stoppages where we're having to separate kids and. Um, like like Serafina said, the emotion of the game was high, and everybody's battling to get that championship game. And kudos to both teams for um, sticking up and being tough nosed and battling. I get that. Uh, but to answer your question, long story short, uh, it was hard for us to overcome the forty-one to sixteen difference today. Yeah. Not having Jefferson at full strength catch up with, catch up with you a little bit today. Oh uh, no, I'm not going to say that. Um, we get five kids on the floor same time they get five kids on the floor now. It's we're, we're capable. We've won games without her. We've won our first two games this season without her. We can win games without her. We can win games, you know. I mean, whatever we got to do, we got the kids to win games, you know. Uh, it's unfortunate. It is what it is. But I'm not going to – I'm not going to – I'm not going to hang that on the fact that uh, that she's not healthy. I mean, we're, we're capable. Our kids believe in themselves. Yeah, um, um, definitely. You know, today it didn't turn out the way we wanted it to be, but um, hopefully tomorrow by 9 o'clock we'll know that, you know, we're in that NCAA tournament. We just got to learn from our mistakes today and continue from there. Hey, thank you very much for having us. Oh, thank you very much.